Welcome to Ponderings with Teacher Van. This is 5 Minutes. Today in 5 Minutes, we'll talk about one of our lessons in grade 10. It's graphic organizers. Recently, you learned that information should be true, it should be good, and of course, it should be useful. But how would you present the information to an audience or to a reader? Shall you present your information in a full-length essay? Shall you be delivering a long speech? Isa sa mga paraan para maintindihan tayo ay ang paggamit ng graphic organizers. According to the cult of pedagogy, graphic organizers are so simple, yet in its simplicity, it is an effective vehicle to cement learning. The seven graphic organizers that I would like to share to you are the following. Number one, hamburger diagram. Number two, the Venn diagram. Number three, the flow diagram. Number four, organizational chart. Number five, decision tree analysis. Number six, the fishbone or the Ishikawa diagram. And number seven, the spider map. Hamburger diagram. Hamburger diagram highlights the critical parts of the essay. Often, you have a lot of ideas in your head and what you need is something that would organize your thoughts. In a hamburger diagram, you will be prompted to support the main idea of your essay. This diagram shape is like a hamburger shape. On top of it, you put there the topic sentence and yung mga palaman sa gitna, these are the paragraphs. All of those will be supporting the topic sentence. In writing essays, I feel it's good suggestion for you to create first a hamburger diagram of your essay. Sa pamamagitan noon, magiging guided ka at magiging focus ka sa pagsuporta sa main idea ng iyong essay. The next diagram that I want to share is all about the Venn diagram. The Venn diagram of features two overlapping circles. These two circles represent certain entities. The portion that overlaps tells the similarity between the two entities. And yung mga hindi naman nag-overlap, yung dalawang sides, yan naman ang kaibahan nung dalawang entities. The next diagram is the flow diagram. It's a diagram that shows procedure. It gives clarity to a process. Here is an example of a flowchart. This one is about enrollment in UP Diliman. With this one being posted all the time tuwing enrollan doon sa center ng College of Education, naiiwasan na yung pagtatanong-tanong yung hindi alam ng information because nandoon doon na, nakalagay na yung process. Kailangan mo na lang basahin and sundin step by step. The next one is the organizational chart. It provides a detailed visual representation of an organization, key individuals, team members, and of course, I would like to state here, dapat nandoon doon din yung roles and duties. Ano, hindi lang yung titles. And so that talaga nak-orient uh, for public service. And of course, may accountability. All right. Number five, the decision tree analysis. This graphic organizer is critical. This graphic organizer is meant to help people to arrive to a good decision. It presents the courses of action or the choices in detail. Once you have seen all the information, uh, you will arrive at a more informed decision. Number six is the fishbone or the Ishikawa diagram. First of all, this one's shape is like a fishbone. It is a critical graphic organizer because it is not only tracing all the causes and the culprit of the problem. It also allows us or inspires us to prevent this problem to happen again by really focusing on the causes of the problem. The last graphic organizer that I want to share is about Spider Map. Spider Map is a brain brainstorming tool. Its shape is like a spider. The main idea is in the center of the graph and of course, as you brainstorm with your group, nagkakaroon pa ng mga idea na connect dun sa pinaka-idea. There will be more details and it will stem out from that circle and really it will be looking like spider with legs. I hope you have learned about graphic organizers. I feel you can use some of this, if your teacher gives you a report or if your group will be to present something in front of the class, sana magamit niyo yung mga graphic organizers na ito. 
I would like to remind that graphic organizers are meant to teach the learners the information that is deconstructed in the graphic organizer must help the reader or the audience further. In Tagalog, ang information na inilagay natin sa graphic organizer, dapat ito ay makatulong sa mambabasa o kaya sa audience. Ang goal ng graphic organizer ay yung complex information maibigay natin sa ating audience or sa ating reader sa paraan na madali nilang maintindihan. Ito po si Mr. Luna, uh, your Pondering Teacher, and thank you very much for watching Ponderings with Teacher Van, uh, ating 5-minute section. Until next time, thank you!